Well, hey everybody, and welcome back to Kiki's Kitchen. We are moving along with our St. Patrick's Day dinner. I have already made my corned beef and cabbage, and I'm about to roast some potatoes and onions, but before I do that, I wanna put this Irish, uh, Irish soda bread, not potato bread, soda bread into the oven. I have one made here. I haven't slashed it yet, but this is a plain one, and I've got it down into a buttered, um, Cast, uh, pot, blah, 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 cast iron dish. And I'm about to make the second one before I put that in there though. Um, so I have four cups of all purpose flour in here. To that, I'm gonna add two tea, uh, tablespoons of sugar. I am going to add one and a half teaspoons of baking soda, thus the Irish soda bread, right? The soda. Baking soda is the leavening agent. There is no yeast in this. And that is one and a half teaspoons of baking soda. And a teaspoon of sugar. I said sugar, I meant salt. I, heard, I caught myself this time, y'all. Maybe I'll get better, who knows. Okay, so. I am going to give this a quick little stir just to kind of get the uh, other, the pep or the salt and the soda mixed in there. And I'm going to add in my buttermilk. And that's about one and three quarters of a cup of buttermilk. So I'm going to add that into my mixture stir it up here i will obviously get in there with my hands here in a minute but i want to get this mixed in as much as i can with this spoon first coming together nicely It will ultimately need a little bit more flour. I can tell you that. I can feel it. You'll be able to feel it too. A little sticky. Get this stuff out of the way. I'm just going to actually go in ahead and put a little bit more flour in. And that's probably, oh, a half a cup or so. You'll be able to feel it. I'm gonna put a little flour down on my surface. And now, so traditional, traditional Irish soda bread has um, raisins in it. I have no raisins, no raisin lover, no raisin lovers in, in my, domain. <laughs> my husband doesn't like raisins. My friends don't like raisins. However, my girls like crazy. They don't like raisins, but they do like crazy. So I have this one over here that I've made that has no um, raisins in it. This one I'm adding crazies to. So, so a traditional um, soda bread doesn't have to have raisins in it. It can just be, you know, the flour, baking soda, salt and sugar. And actually sugar is an option too. I just like mine with a little sweet taste to it. The uh, buttermilk gives it a little tang. All right, so let's put this out onto our mat. little bit of flour there and get all my craisins out and I'm telling you if y'all could see this kitchen it's been a busy one today yesterday was busy too I had a little project going for some friends at church so I made a few things 
nothing that you haven't seen before, so I didn't bore you with another video. I wanna flower my hands just a little bit. That kind of helps just a little bit when you're patting it out, so it's not quite so sticky. Kind of knead it a little bit, get it to come into a nice dough. Move that aside. So I'm just kind of pushing it down with my the heel of my hand, kneading it just a little bit, just a little bit. Looks good. So then what I want to do is I want to bring it up, make a disc, cover my holes. You see that? Can you see that I've got to kind of get my lines out? And then I'm going to flip it. So I've got a nice soft side on this side. And it's going to go into my pan. Here we go. Perfect, perfect. Okay, so now what I want to do is I want to have the right knife. I've got a knife with a serrated edge. And I want to start at one side and cut about a quarter of an inch. And I want to cut across into it, both this side to this side. Now, truthfully, it helps the air to escape, the steam to escape. But the Irish tradition is that you're to make it cutting across the sign of the cross. And you're letting all of the fairies in the bread out and they will ward off all of the evil spirits. Who knew? So I have the oven preheated to 350. It's going into the oven for about 50 minutes, and we'll see you on the flip side. Bye, hold on. Which one? Okay, y'all, they're out of the oven, and I want you to hear that sound, that hollow sound. It means they're good and done. They were in there for 50 minutes. That's 5.0, 50 minutes. And I'm actually gonna take them out of this pan once I butter the tops because, um, you know, it's a cast iron skillet and it will stay warm a very long time and I don't want the bottom to burn. Now, this is something you don't have to do, but I don't ever miss an opportunity to butter warm bread as it comes out, that's for sure. I think it makes it look pretty and it certainly adds flavor. So, I just melted up a little butter here, and no, I'm not going to cut the bread open. <laughs> um, hopefully I'll get a picture of it. But like I said, when I'm entertaining, making, making them wait for me to do a video is kind of the last thing I'm gonna do. So, just get that. I will take it out though. Hang on one second and I'll get something to put it on. Hold on. And here we go. Here's the one with the craisins and here's the plain one. Just delicious and smells so good. So I hope you try it. Too simple not to. Have a good night. Bye.